I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be an interesting matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. With that, let's get you out to Silicon Valley, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, as we welcome in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, the onset of fall weather, Coach, certainly a welcome occurrence for folks in Silicon Valley, and we've got football on a gorgeous day here in Santa Clara as we are situated at Levi's Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. It's been a lost first month of the season, that's for sure, as they come in with an 0-4 record. And the window's not shut on them, though. They still have a chance to make something out of this season, but it has to start right now. Meanwhile, for the visiting Rams, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. Fielded about a yard deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship yeah, is. And that was a pretty positive think? story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. And a quick look now at the offense for the 49ers. Let's focus our attention on the offensive line and Brandon Sheriff, the first round pick in 2015. In fact, the first lineman taken at number five overall, an offensive tackle in college, transitioned very well to guard in the NFL. Solid, reliable, two traits you love in an offensive lineman. How about tough, physical, and nasty? He's an Iowa offensive lineman. Those guys play well in the NFL. So even with the pass interference, it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite the pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll make this a second down. Time for a look at our starters here on defense. And they've shown the ability to play tough against the pass, currently ranked number nine in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top 10 in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. This third down just got even more difficult. Third down and 15 after the false start. The play action fake, they'll look to throw. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. That one broken up by David Long on the defensive end. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. 
Now a first carry here for Robinson. And space opened up a bit. He's able to take this up past the 10. The numbers in last week's ball game for Robinson. 17 carries, 55 yards. I can remember the last time we did a game and a coach didn't talk about establishing the run first, but they've lost two straight games. So they still want to do that, but they've got to have some contingencies, some other options. Expect them maybe to throw it a little bit to open up things and maybe run it a little bit more later in the game. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. They'll run inside with a fullback ham. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Give him five yards there, and it'll bring up second down. They'll run with a fullback ham. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Three yards is the pickup, but it leaves them still needing 11 here on third down. <laughs> Throwing on third, golf. And that's complete to Jesse James. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Now after the completion, we're gonna get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Oh, and the hard count might have got him. This might be a first down. So a jump there defensively. That's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to float this one deep. He's got it at the 15. And great yardage here all the way deep into Los Angeles territory. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. They'll set up the throw. The quick slant caught. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and two. And he will find his receiver, Pettis, for a 49ers touchdown. Dante Pettis, his second touchdown on the season as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. The losing streak had taken on a life of its own, and I think it infiltrates a team when you're on that much of a slide. But this group has managed to focus, come out early, and put a touchdown on the board. They, they look like they mean business in this one. They do now the key, holding on to that attitude because, man, that streak has been a struggle for them. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. This fielded at the 2. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. 
What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. From the 30 on second down, golf. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That's a gain of 13 first down rounds. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Now Goff gets this into the hands of Brandon Cooks. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They'll run on first down. Robinson. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Inside give to Ham, the fullback. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Out of the gun, golf. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game, watching this offensive line, because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They've dropped four straight games coming into this one, remember, but they have the lead here. They'll start on the ground with Breda. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big play there for the Niners. And a quite appropriate gain as well. 49 yards on the ground. On first down, McClellan. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Second and nine now. This one caught by his tight end, Oliver. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. He'll drop to throw, and he fires one, but incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or in this case, a field goal. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? 180. On second and nine, Goff throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. A shotgun snap for Goff. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll only get this to about the 35, well short of the line to gain. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. 
The San Francisco offense getting their last minute instructions before they take over here. They're looking sharp out early to a 10 zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Watch one, watch one. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, go. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oliver, the tight end, making the catch. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Seven catches, 119 yards. And he's able to pull that last pass in, but this is usually a pretty tough unit to try and maneuver against. They're in the top 10 in the league against the pass, and you and I both know there's not much difference between one and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Ten nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Got it. Once again, they run with Breda on first down. Now yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. On second down, a run with Breda. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the yeah. line of scrimmage. They'll drop the throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up fourth down. That play was well covered. Just tried to check it down. Unfortunately, not able to find any yardage on that one. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Goff on first down. And that's complete to Cooks. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Here's gone. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. The Rams on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is going to be third and 13. From the gun. Here's gone. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Well, that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Finds his tight end Oliver here outright. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First down San Francisco, the pickup, 14 yards. On first down, here's Brita. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Now a give coming right is Breida. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Come on, set. The Niners on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five. They'll set up a throw. And that will be incomplete. Come on, 
I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. On second down, it's Robinson, breaks a tackle, still going, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So that one will be accepted. On second down, here's gone. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers. And somehow, some way, they make plays on the football. And sometimes you're there too soon. And the tackle there by Quan Alexander. 56. Mike, 56, right Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And Robinson with a big catch. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's good for 28 yards. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. On second down now, it's Robinson. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. From the gun on third down, gone. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. And they just keep marching right along, first down on a pickup of eight there. This will be the first red zone opportunity now for the Rams. It's first and 10 at the 14. On the run, it's Robinson. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Here's gone. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Throwing again on second down. Golf. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That's three sacks now, and this team came into the game in the bottom five in the league in sacks. Yeah, this What's is going not, on? It's not been their bread and butter. I don't know, is a blind squirrel finding a nut, or is it something they can build on? Well, they found some momentum. They found a crack in that offensive line, and they're putting it to good use. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? 
or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? Yeah, this is going to put them back with not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. Corey Littleton there on the tackle. Our score, 10-3 to three with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. Second and five. Complete to the running back, Matt Breda. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. They're going to look to throw. And he's got his tight end, Oliver. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. This quarterback now 11 to 15 through the air. Here's first and 10. Here's a quick hitch route and the throw complete. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Here's second and eight. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. To throw again on second down. Golf. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. From the 50, it's gone. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept go. that Here flag in the back pocket. Here we go. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position, not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. Second and six. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Emmanuel Agba able to record his fifth sack of the season. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Back to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in Week 6. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you.
And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. This is taken at his four. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And the Rams getting set to go now. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk? when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission. Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Holding. Umpire threw the flag, usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And a dump off here to Robinson. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it'll be fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Here's Johnny Hacker now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Well, we Defense, got yeah. we, got the de we, got the, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with a game this close, you got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. 
And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Matt Breed in the offense heading back out. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him? Maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. That's Mike McGlinchey, former first-round pick out of Notre Dame with a penalty. The false start hurts him there a bit, backs him up to second and nine. And I think we've got a hold here. It's a five-yard pickup for the moment. Let's see what our referee says. So a holding penalty, and that'll send him backwards. You know they're trying not to do that. I mean, we know that, right? We talk to them all the time. But sometimes the defensive guys just put you in awkward situations, and you get caught grabbing their jerseys. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. They'll look to throw. This one caught by his tight end, Oliver. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Here comes the 49ers punter now. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Again, it's Robinson. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to throw up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards. They'll run on first down. Robinson. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield strike. Now whistles and a flag down. I think one of the Rams linemen might have moved. And that'll set them back five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. They'll run again here with Robinson. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Goff now looking to throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, instead of fourth down after the incompletion, it'll be first down roughing the passer. Coaches love their defenses to be aggressive, but they want them to be smart as well. Have to leave the quarterback alone at a certain point. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. From the 38, golf. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. 
I think you'd agree that looked like the right call from up here. No doubt about it. What everyone has to understand is that the officials are going to be right on the play each and every time. You may not like the call, but they're usually spot on. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. They'll try the air now with Golf. And a quick throw here. That's complete. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. 56, Check, 56. Throwing on third. Golf. And the Niners get there and bring him down. A rough couple of weeks for the man under center. Five sacks last week, four now this week. Do you try to design some quicker developing plays if you're an offensive coordinator? I think you do that. I think you also change his launch point at times. In other words, move your pocket to the right, to the left, roll him out, bootleg him. Do some different things so they can't just rely on the fact he's going to take three to five steps back in the pocket and line up and throw the football. Yeah, the current formula is not working right now. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. They run with Breda, and he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Here's Burita. He gets them a little over half of what they need, and now they're looking at a third and five. Out of the gun now on third down. Open man is Pettis. It's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 17-yard line. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And Woods has it complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Now back to throw. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. And that'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. It'll be first and goal when we come back. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll set up a throw. That'll be complete to Breda. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels. React and he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Matt Breida, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Trying to bust out of that losing funk, and these fans have to like this. And all right, fellas, this is more like it. And I know that if this holds up after the game, they're going to give the fans a lot of credit being at home, getting the support. But you and I both know it goes deeper than that. They had to get it together in their own facility, look each other in the eye and say, okay, what's it going to take to break this losing streak? And they really came together with a good week of practice. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and the lead is now 17-3. So this drive spans seven plays, and it was Matt Breida who had the touchdown run to put an end to it. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of the team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. 
Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. From the gun on third down, gone. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Credit the sack to the Oregon Duck to Forrest Buckner. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Now, after the punt on that play, we've got a man down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Brita. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. They'll look to throw here. He'll get this into the hands of Brita. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at the 20. A shotgun snap for gone. Throw left side complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Here's a second and five now from the 25. 56 to Mike. 56 to Mike. I hope you brought your left because I'm about to take you to school. To throw is gone. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Ferguson. And down he'll go at the 25. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Back to throw. Gone. And that is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And that will come the offense as they take over. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. And the ball is knocked out. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football. And the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game. So hold on here, not done in the fourth. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. At this stage, this drive's got to be touchdown or bust because you need two of them. And if I'm the offensive play caller, I'm not just looking at my dagger plays downfield. I'm looking at some of my specials, something that can fool them and give you a big play now. With a sense of urgency. No doubt. 
Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise at this stage of the game, you can't have... And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season as his guys are back within a single score. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And it's up through the goalposts at 17-10. They have the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. This game back with it, a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Now, Charles, of course, you got to remember, last possession they fumbled. It led to a touchdown. One-score game here. Got to be careful. And this is where coaching and training really comes into play, doesn't it? What, is it? what does everyone say after an error? Next play, move on, next drive. That mantra has to come to the front. They've got to take care of business right here and act like the last series just didn't happen. This is Breda. Some fancy footwork, but not much room to operate. Just up past the 25 and no further. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Looking to throw. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A very solid gain of 27. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. On second down, McClellan. And he's gonna get it down to the 33 yard line here. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Breda. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. Touchdown, 49ers! Matt Breda with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. First down, Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. Goal. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. There's gone. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Throwing again on second and ten. Golf. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The hit 
comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that, looks like an extra step was involved. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On second and 12, Goff. He'll get this one to Cup complete. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Goff now to throw. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one. Knock it away and brings up a fourth down decision. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. A 10-play drive that time. 90 ticks to go, still time, but they need this onside kick. And the 49er hands team does its job. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that one. They needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They run again with Breda. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And they'll indeed take a knee. So first and second down went in the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. They go down to a knee and a sigh of relief as they are into the win column for the first time this year. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So for the Niners, it took a while, but they finally get that first win after four straight losses. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for Los Angeles, they can't quite seem to turn things around as they fall into two and four now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.
I'm Brandon Gunn. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.